William Lloyd Garrison, a prominent leader in the abolitionist movement, he was very anti-slavery. Um, and one of the ways he went about um, you know, delivering his message was through his publications. He was known as a brilliant propagandist. Um, one of the methods he used was a, a journal. It was a weekly journal called The Liberator. Let's take a look at this. All right, this is a picture of him. Um, that's what he looks like. And uh, here's The Liberator. Uh, and he would basically uh, talk about his anti-slavery message in a, uh, an emphatic, extremely emphatic way. And if you look at this quote, I will not equivocate, I will not excuse, I will not retreat a single inch, and I will be heard. So basically, anything that he thought he needed to put in there to get his message across and move towards freedom for all blacks, he would put in this journal. Um, actually, one of the, uh, uh, this person right here, this is uh, David Walker, he came kind of before him, but a lot of his ideas, uh, he's a free black, and he, he um, believed that America should be equal, like an equal opportunity for blacks as it should be whites. He used a lot of his ideas and published a lot of the stuff he never really got to get across to a large audience in The Liberator. Um, in addition to The Liberator, William Lloyd Garrison also used a, uh, circulated a pamphlet called uh, Thoughts on African Colonization, in which he not only ta uh, pushed for freedom, but he said once slaves were freed, they should also be incorporated um, into American society instead of being you know deported back to Africa because a lot of people were saying yeah they should be free but you know they should they should not integrate with our society so he was very against that he wanted them not only to be free but to become like an essential part of society he already believed that they were like an essential part of society um, it's interesting to note that he was so against slavery that at one point although this never got close to being passed he moved to uh, <laughs> dissolve the constitution. In, because it explicit, never explicitly stated that uh, slavery um, like should be abolished, so it, although that never got passed, it kind of exemplifies the extremes he was willing to go to to uh, deliver his anti-slavery message. Thank you.